best game improvement irons of 2024. If you're a mid to high handicapper, then you've stumbled across the right video here. Now I've come to the beautiful Santa de Serra Golf Club here in Madeira, and I've picked out some of my favorites from months of testing dozens and dozens of these clubs. And I'm gonna pick out my favorites in categories such as feel, looks, performance, and I'm gonna crown my overall winner at the end of the video. Okay, so looks. Now this is a really important part of selecting some new irons because we all wanna like what we're looking down on, right? And I think across the board in the game improvement category this year, the manufacturers have done a really, really good job. Gone are the days where you've got these overly flashy graphics that somewhat patronize mid to high handicappers. We've got across the board a more sophisticated look. And the first one of those I wanna talk about is the Cobra Dark Speed Iron. Now this is a little different, it's got a much darker finish than all of the other irons in the selection. It's got a kind of, it's not black, it's not gray, it's kind of a charcoal coating. And I think it looks great, and particularly down by the ball, it actually slims the profile of what is quite a substantial head. Because it's darker, it just optically looks that little bit more compact, and I really like it. And again, down behind the ball, there's not too much excessive offset. There's a nice blade length and a decent thick top line that lets you know you're getting a little bit of assistance. So I think this is a fantastic looking iron. Now, next up for me, the Callaway AI Smoke. A really classic looking head. It does well to disguise the technology that's within it. So it is a hollow bodied head, but you get the impression that it's a more playery style iron. Decent width of sole and down behind the ball, this could fit into most categories. This could be in the compact distance section or even the low handicap section. It really is a very refined and sort of better player looking head. So I've picked that out on that basis. But for me, the overall winner of this category is the Titleist T350. I love everything about this. And I think you can split looks sometimes into two categories. You get the shelf appeal from the back, how it looks in the bag or on the shelf or you get the profile down behind the ball. And this is a beautiful combination of both. I think from the back, you've got a really classy aesthetic. We've only got two colors. We've got black and white, which is always a winner. We've got a lovely chrome finish. And I just think they've done a really, really good job aesthetically. Again, for me, this would go in any level of player's bag. No one's gonna turn their nose up at the look of this golf club. And down behind the ball, you get a really pleasingly long blade length. So you know you've got plenty of surface area to hit with comfortable bit of offset, but a really classic looking profile. So for me in the game improvement iron section, this year the winner is the Titleist T350. Technology has probably evolved in this category as much as with any of the other iron categories with manufacturers using multiple different materials, both on the exterior and in the interior of these irons to improve and optimize those acoustics, which really feed into the feel. Now I'm here on the beautiful fourth hole on the red course at Santa de Serra Golf Club here in Madeira. And I've picked out three of my favorites within this feel and sound category. We're gonna hit a couple of shots off this tee here and really get into the details of them. So first up in feel, I wanna to talk to you about the Callaway AI Smoke. And what I really like about these Callaway AI Smoke irons is the face, the, the new AI face that Callaway have created using thousands of swings from real golfers to create what they call their swing code and their the tagline across this range is sweeter from every spot and you really notice that in the AI Smoke irons. Honestly, in the rest of the bunch, I feel there's a couple that maybe just feel a little bit better on the centered strikes, but across the face, these are really exceptional. Okay, so I'm on a par three tee here at Santa De Serra Golf Club and we've got about 170 yards into and off the right. And I'm just gonna hit one away because I wanna get you, see if we can get a sense of the sound and the feel. Hope the camera picks it up from this. That was a nice hit, slightly out the heel, but quite honestly, like I said, the face that they've created sort of gobbles up those miss hits. And I guess from a feedback point of view, that might be a slight negative, because I'm not quite sure exactly where that came from, but from a performance point of view, it's still done the job. So I'm not sure I care that much. And my next standout in the feel and sound category is the Ping G430 iron. Now the Ping G430 is a really strong performer in this category. From a tech point of view, it's got a super thin face and this pure flex badge at the back. 
and that really does help the acoustics and the feel. So it's one of the softer feeling within the bunch of irons that I've selected. So let's see if we can pick that up on the audio when I hit one away here. Okay, so that was a really nice solid strike right out the middle. And it was noticeably softer, a bit deeper and then I smoother is probably a good word for that. So it's a lot more subdued and a lot more subtle than some of the others in the range. And I really, really like the feel of the Ping G430. But the winner for me in the best feeling iron in the game improvement category is the Mizuno JPX 923 Hot Metal. And that is why I've named it my favorite feeling iron in the game improvement category. That was just beautiful. So what Mizuno have done here is much like a lot of the other irons within this category. They've thinned out the face, 8% thinner than its previous iteration. And what that can do is create a harsh, high pitch kind of acoustic. But Mizuno have addressed that with their what they call their V chassis. Now that mitigates that sound. And anyone who's used Mizuno irons before will know feel is probably the standout feature. They feel fantastic. And what Mizuno has done here, they've packed a lot of tech in to create what they normally create with craftsmanship, but they've achieved the same result. A great feeling iron. And this is my best feeling game improvement iron of 2024. But before we have a look at those irons, I'd just like to ask you, if you enjoy this video and you find it informative, please hit the like button, comment down below on what your favorite game improvement iron of 2024 is. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Okay, so that's how they sound and feel, but very importantly, how do they perform? So I've tested all of these irons and I'm gonna pop some raw data up on the screen for you now so you can have a little look and see what those numbers are. If you need to pause the video, there's a lot of data to take in there. Feel free to pause it, take it in, and get back to me once it's all registered. But for now, I wanted to talk to you about the performance of my sort of three favorites here. So the first one I'm gonna mention is the TaylorMade QI iron. Now, it was one of the lower spinning irons, but it had some really high launch to go with that spin, which is a great combination for distance. It's really stable on off-center hits, which I really, really liked. But what I also liked, and probably the standout feature of this for me, is I felt it was probably the most draw biased of the irons that I've tested. It's got what Taylor made are referring to as their straight distance technology, which is essentially a draw bias. So for anyone who fades the ball or over slices it at times, this could be a really, really good option because it really does mitigate that kind of left to right ball flight for a right-handed golfer. So that's a really strong performer. The next one I'd like to mention, and one of the most underrated, probably brands in the iron category for me, is Wilson, and this is the Dyna Power Iron. Now again, this was quite a low spinner and quite a penetrating flight, but I would expect that because it's got 27 degrees of loft, which is one of the more strong lofts within this category. But I also really like the feel, and I had a really nice tight dispersion for something that wasn't spinning too much. I found dispersion, and probably that's the performance on the off-center hits. I found that really, really good with the Dyna Power. A good value option as well, but as I said, it's just something that's very underrated in all of the iron categories for me. But my overall favorite in the performance category was the Cobra Dark Speed. Now this, for me, it just had the perfect combination. It wasn't necessarily standing out in individual areas, but the perfect combination of launch, spin, distance and it, and it was a real rocket ship in terms of that distance i thought this was a really really good combination and i really like the lively feel off the face what cobra have done here from a tech point of view to achieve that is they've taken they've added three grams of foam rather than seven grams of polymer that was in the aerojet iron that's allowed them to move the center of gravity around to really be able to optimize those launch and spin conditions and they've done a really really good job and for that reason the Cobra Dark Speed irons, my best performing irons in the game improvement category for 2024. Right, so we've come to the moment where I'm actually gonna name my favorite game improvement iron of 2024. Now there's a lot to consider. I really liked a lot of the clubs I tested and I think this has been a really strong category for irons this year, but I've got to pick a winner. And my overall winner this year for the best game improvement iron is, it's the Cobra Dark Speed. I love so much about this iron. I've spoken about the looks a little bit. I love, I'm a bit of a sucker for something that's not afraid to be different really. And this is a much different finish to all of the other irons. And I really, really like it. I also said, I like how this darker finish is slimmed down the profile. So behind the ball, 
whilst it's substantial, whilst there is quite a long blade length, it doesn't look overly cumbersome. And that's something I don't like in this game improvement section when they look clunky and cumbersome and difficult. So from a looks point of view, I really, really enjoy these irons, both from a, a shelf appeal point of view and in behind the ball, they've got a lovely profile at address. Secondly, the tech that's involved, I do like the change. The foam that's gone in instead of the polymer has really changed the feel, which I alluded to earlier. It's a nice, lively feel. You can feel the power through the strike. And it's also changed that CG, so you get some really nice launch conditions, which has produced kind of pretty optimal numbers for me and a very, very powerful hit. From a price point, point of view as well, they come in really good, $143 per iron. It's cheaper than a lot of the the more established brands or the established brands within this category. So I think they represent really good value. The only thing you might need to give some consideration to is they are hot. The seven iron is at 27 degrees. And as you go down the shorter irons and into the wedges, I did see quite a lot of distance boost. So if you are going into the dark speed, you might need to think about gapping down the lower end of the bag and, and change your wedge setup possibly to accommodate, but you won't be sorry that you do. Cobra have done a fantastic job here, and this is my best game improvement iron for 2024.